Ever wonder what's actually happening inside an AI model? Well, this interactive demo lets you peek directly into the brain of GPT-2, an early precursor to ChatGPT from OpenAI. What makes this so special is that I've rebuilt the model to run completely in your browser. No servers, no Excel, just vanilla JavaScript code that lets you see and interact with every step of the Transformer model in a spreadsheet-like interface. Ready to dive in? Let me show you how to get started. The first thing you want to do is scroll down to the section that says Getting Started. There's a link here, which you want to click on, and we'll open this page where you can download the weights or parameters for GPT-2 small in this zip file, gpt 2 small csvzip It'll look a little bit like this, a long list of 150 CSV files. You're going to select all these files and drag and drop them right here into the web page. What this is doing is it's taking all the files which represent the model's parameters and loading them into your browser's local database. They'll actually persist even through reloads of the page unless you clear your browser data or hit this clear all button. So for example, if I refresh this page, it'll quickly recognize it already has those and it will get started. At this point, you can enter any prompt. This is the canonical one we like to use in spreadsheets are all you need. Mike is quick, he moves, and you can hit the run button. At this point, the model is off and running. Let me give you a little bit better sense of what's happening. So the model is implemented as a series of two types of widgets or cells. The first one looks like this. It's kind of like a spreadsheet. You have a formula, like an Excel formula that's going to execute, and then a table where you can see the result of that formula. These formulas all come from JavaScript code that's implemented right here, where you can actually edit and change the code and rerun it if you want to hit this play button. In fact, even basic operations like matrix addition and matrix multiply are implemented in raw JavaScript for you to edit and inspect to your heart's content. At this point, I'll turn follow back on, and we can follow along to the rest of the model. It'll take maybe a minute or two for it to predict the next token. I'm going to speed up this video and see you at the end. OK, there we go. Mike is quick. He moves quickly. If you found any of this fascinating, join our mailing list with the link below. And if you're a web developer trying to get up to speed on how LLMs actually work, check out the link to my course. We go through every single step of every concept you see here, but make it easy to understand and digest. All you need to know is a little JavaScript. Thank you.